In today's video, we are testing a huge football shirt mystery box scam. Right, those of you who are familiar, football shirt mystery boxes are not a good investment if you're looking to get a fantastic shirt for your money. They're a business that thrives purely on the mystery. Like, if you're going for one, just know that you're purchasing the mystery. You're not going to get a shirt. 99.9% .9 of the time, you're not going to get a shirt worth more than you've spent. However, one theory that's been floated around for some time is that influencers will always get better items from football shirt mystery boxes. I'm not talking about ones through brand deals. For example, all of these ones on TikTok. I'm talking about if I, as an influencer, go and purchase a football shirt mystery box and say I'm going to make a video on it, will I get a better shirt than if a regular person does? Well, we've got a foolproof way of testing that today an instant influencer but just before we get into that and test this theory number one we've got a camera in this section now trying to showcase the mystery look hello look at that for a wave and also too i'm obviously going to give away an item from this video all you have to do to have a chance of winning it is like this video and subscribe to the channel and then you have a chance of winning an item it's that simple by the way if you do win an item can we start actually you know if you do win an item, could you please tweet me an image of you with it? It would then help reinforce that these giveaways are real. Some people just get them and then they don't even say thank you. Why? Right, how are we doing this then? Well, my name is Ellis Platten and I've gone on eBay and I've typed out this message when ordering free football shirt mystery boxes. All I've done is on the description tab, you have to put in shirts you want to avoid. I've just simply put size medium, please. This will be opened on the Away Days YouTube channel. And then I've ordered three separate mystery boxes from three separate sellers. Then I waited a few days and ordered the same three mystery boxes in size medium under the name Mikey David. I didn't put any note on there, I just said size medium. So we're going to see what Mikey David gets and what Ellis Platten gets. Will it be different or will I get better items? Let's see. Also, to be very clear, I'm not outing the sellers in this. If you're a mystery box business... I don't begrudge you making money. Literally everyone flips money on football shirts nowadays. So it's just a test. I'm not going to out your business. It's just curious. I am I am very curious. Let's get right into it. That's, that says Mikey David. He's actually spelled it Mickey. It's not a good start. And then the same seller, it's Ellis Platten. Right, I think we should do Mikey David's first. In terms of packaging... I've seen better. As we can see, actually, on the back there as well, Mystery M. And then I'm guessing on my one, I'll say the same thing. Yep, Mystery M. I'll be honest, mine feels a bit thicker, but that might just be how the shirt's bunched. Right. Let's do this. Um, well, Mikey David got a pack of stickers and something else has flown away. Um, okay. I think this is fake. Is it? If it's not fake, then fair play to the seller. Well, as it stands, um, I'm sure it's fake. For those of you who don't know Telltale, si Telltale Sign of Adidas, it says Adidas, um, you can't see it. It's, uh, on the tag, it says Adidas JSY. That's usually a very telltale sign for this being a fake. Um, and the material looks awful and the Adidas badge looks off. I will just Google the code to make sure. Adidas CW1526. Yes, yeah, fake. Right, oh my God. I would say on this note, I don't want to generalize all mystery box sellers. I'm sure the rest will be fine, but... It, it opens up a massive can of worms now if I open the next one and my one's genuine. Um, we're putting that straight back in the bag and we are getting a refund ASAP. I can't, if I get a genuine one now, it opens up an entire can of worms. We've got a Juventus shirt. Um, it's fake as well. Uh, I'm not even going to show it to you guys here. Um, it's a Juventus shirt. Yeah, same Adidas JSY thing. Uh, and the Adidas logo is a shambles as well. They're both fakes. Criminal. This isn't the test I wanted to do. I didn't want to test if these mystery box sellers on eBay were fake or genuine. 
I literally just wanted to see if I'd get a better item. Let's move on to the next ones. They they are they've not helped our experiment. All they've done is is expose this seller as a fraud. I actually am going to show this seller on screen right now because they're illegally selling um fake shirts in mystery boxes. So do not use this seller on screen here to buy a football shirt mystery box. Unbelievable. Right. Next up, we have two different ones. Noticeably, the Mikey David one here is square. And the Ellis Platten one is about to be falling over. The Ellis Platten one is longer show you in this camera as well. My one looks like this. And Mikey David's looks like this. We'll go with Mikey David first again. I didn't want... That wasn't how I want... I genuinely didn't want to get a fake one. Obviously, for several reasons. Uh, money spent and everything. Just, why? Oh, I see this is actually a company. And Mikey David gets... Thank you for buying a mystery shirt from us. Is it going to tell me my team name on the back? Spain 2004. That's not awful. Um, I've had worse. I've had worse. Mikey David's had worse. We've got Spain's 2004 shirt, of which I think is genuine. There we go. Spain's 2004 shirt for Mikey David. Not a bad little pull, that, to be honest. Fair play to the seller. I, I've had worse than a, than a vintage shirt from 04 in a mystery box. So, so far, Mikey David's had a good one. Will mine be better or worse? Also, once again, um, this seller is clearly genuine in selling mystery boxes. Like, that shirt was genuine. So, we're not morally against this seller. It's j literally just an experiment. And here we go. What will Ellis Platten of um, the YouTube channel make? Oh. <laughs> I think it's it's quite a good indictment of the experiment. AC Milan's 1998 shirt. Um, I appreciate it from the seller. Um, it does help further our experiment though, doesn't it? This has actually been very useful. We're blam. And then on the back, it's got 10 as well. I think I've got the better shirt there. Um, but in the seller's defense here... I don't think I'd be disappointed if I bought a mystery box and got a Spain 2004 as well. So, it, it, it kind of furthers the point that influencers get better stuff. But, I don't think the seller's done badly there either. Let me know what you think in the comment section as well. Because that Spain shirt is great and the, the fakes just aren't obviously going to be given away by me. Like this video and subscribe to the channel to have a chance of winning Spain's 2004 home shirt. Remember, don't use the original first seller. Fraud. Crook. Stop! You violated the law. In the last ones we have Ellis Platten there and Mikey David. <laughs> right. Come on, Mikey. Come on, Mikey. Mikey David. All right, Mikey David, your final shirt is... Fair play. Fair play indeed to this seller. First of all, Jode... Just come here quickly. You got um, some black current millions. You got them. There you go. What a nice young man. It's bizarre. A lot of nonsense there, wasn't it? So, as we can see, it's Germany's blackout shirt, which I do not own. This is genuine. I don't have to look at the tags. It's genuine. One thing I'll say to the seller, if you are watching this, I asked for a medium. Uh, Mikey, Mikey David specifically asked for a medium. He's been sent a large. But... I also do not own this shirt currently. So this that is actually a very good addition to the collection. Um, this hasn't been awful. Mikey David's got a good shirt there. A very a not bad shirt at all. We're not, we're not here to see if Mikey David gets a good shirt. This isn't a test of these mystery box companies. This is a test to see whether Mikey David gets something good, but I get something better. So let's see. Here we go then. Ellis Platten's final item is... It's the slow roll. Let's we'll slowly reveal it. It's pink. We got some tank fast sticks if you want them. At least Jody's happy. So I've got Palermo's home shirt from this season, which is currently on CFS for around £40. But I'd say this one. 
kind of been... To be very clear, the Germany blackout you can get for around 20 to 25. This Palermo shirt on Classic Football Shirts prices on screen there. So I believe it is currently worth more than the Germany one, even if arguably the Germany shirt is a better shirt. So I've shaded that one in terms of value again. It's also a very good addition to the collection again. I'll be honest, Mikey Davis had a good time and, and so have I. So what is, what is my conclusion from this? I would say influencers do get sent better stuff. I feel like if you reach out to a company and say, look, I'm making a video on this, you will get better stuff. It's not right. It's not morally right. It is technically false advertising. It definitely is false advertising. If you see a brand deal, TikTok is rife with them. As someone being sent a mystery box, there, there's a reason they're marketing on TikTok. They're using TikTok because they know young, impressionable viewers will see that and be like, oh, this one got a PSG shirt with Messi on the back. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll order one and try and get one cheaper. That's not how it works. These companies are massively disingenuous. There's false advertising. You never see an influencer get sent a shirt and they pull it out and it's like, oh, it's Utrecht's 2018 shirt. However, in a situation like this, where I myself have reached out to them and placed the order, I find it hard to be annoyed at them for sending me a slightly better item. Because if you're a small business and you're trying to market yourself, probably the way you do it right. And I don't think any of the companies other than this one on screen right here have made themselves look awful. Um, the fake ones, I will update at the end of this video if I got a refund. It'll be on screen. Actually, it'll be on screen here. Did I get a refund? But yeah, I find it very hard to be annoyed at them. I think it is clear that I have got better items there. I think we've proved the hypothesis. Science. But I think it's also a really fun video to do. And also we get to give away that Spain shirt is great. The AC Milan shirt I got was great. And the Germany and the Palermo shirts are also great as well. So I find it hard to be annoyed from my perspective. I'm really interested to know what your guys' thoughts are on this one. I think it's a really interesting debate. Those of you who have been here for a while will know that the mystery box craze is, is definitely down to me in some way, shape or form. Um, like, what do you think of all this? What do you think of how it's gone? I mean, there's a reason I don't do it as much anymore. Um, because it's shady stuff like this. The first seller especially. The first seller I think has made themselves... You've, you're an idiot. You're, an, you're going to be watching this because someone's going to send it to you because they'll recognize your eBay, eBay username. You're an idiot. You can't sell fake items under the pretense of them being mystery. You're reselling fake items. You're breaking the law. You're under a citizen's arrest! But I don't think the other two sellers have killed themselves, basically, is my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Remember that these are businesses. They're trying to make money. I think if you take that stance going into mystery boxes as a whole, you'll be able to be more educated and make a better decision on whether you're going to buy one or not. Always remember, when buying something like this, the seller has to make money as well. They have bills to pay. Bear that in mind when making a purchase. If you do just want the mystery in the rush, I wouldn't say they're an awful thing. But as I've said millions of times before, my advice is if you're a teenager or whatever, or you're married, give your partner £40 and tell them to buy you a football shirt that you don't have a clue about. Set them parameters and they'll surprise you. I promise you, you'll get the exact same rush as opening a mystery box. I've done it enough times on this channel. I guarantee you it's the same thing. Just in a mystery box, you might get some tank fastics. I've been Ellis. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more football shirt content and more away days. And I'll see you very soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye.